that dude is really good at doubles. Yeah, I was saying earlier on commentary for Slogs, it's like he's won like four of the five gamer cons now in doubles. You know, winning with uh, Crush at the first one, then right. the next two, I think two other ones with Lin, and now it's winning with Calvar. So showing that diversity uh, too. Uh, I'm, I think we're in this for real. I think it so. looks pretty real. So, yeah. Trail's going as Ganon. I mean, he he might go Icy's on FD if he gets counterpicked to FD. I'm curious. But it makes it makes sense because Icy's against Marth is not fun to play. Absolutely. You're talking about how matchups aren't, aren't fun to play, and it's definitely one. But this matchup definitely has happened at Hog before plenty of times. I imagine Kiko's used to have the advantage. I think we've commented this before in a Mass Madness too. And just to finish the matchup commentary, like this is arguably either this or Icy's. I feel like is Ganon's best matchup against the top tiers. You think so? Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Like. Marth can sometimes struggle against other characters that, like, maybe Fox or Falco just shit on. Yeah, because, like, Falco can, like, really shut down Ganon. Fox can make it pretty... If Fox wants to do really hard for Ganon to get anything, I feel like, on a competent Fox that knows how to deal with Ganon. And, like, yeah, this one can be really, like, like deceptive, I feel like. D don't get me wrong. Marth wins. But I feel like if you were to survey all the Ganons, what are your two favorite matchups of all the high tiers? They're going to say Marth. And they're gonna say Ices. Yeah, usually those two. Cause like maybe Peach if they don't know what to do against Ganon, but like usually it's usually two, definitely those two. You see a lot of people counterpick Ganon against an Icy sometimes, not feeling like the sheet notes he ended up for a time back in the day. Right. And then yeah, so you can see people do that a lot. And like but Kikaho is no slouch, and I feel like he'll be able to leverage the aspects of the matchup that his you know character wins. And it's gonna be no matter what character plays Trail. What what character trail plays? plays yeah. It's gonna it's gonna be a tall order. Yeah, definitely. And you know, what's the thing about Ganon being such a big target? It makes things a lot easier for Marth to get like a, co a good combo in on. It's kind of seeing right now. But Ganon come right back and let you get the jab and get off me to another jab. That kind of going a bit of a reverse too. The fact that he has that floaty quality really hurts him in terms of getting comboed sometimes. Yeah, because like it's like plus his weight too, being a heavier character, like the way he kind of like moves around too, it can be very very strange to deal with. Oh right. yeah, goes a bit too high. That uh, potentially, yeah, holds the ledge. And Dreamland game one, I mean, you could see it being a, a little questionable, because Ganon is just gonna live forever. But Marth just wins the neutral enough that it doesn't matter. Like take the take the big stage. I'll just hit you more times. Yeah. Did the extra effort in it. Yeah, right now it's, it's working out. It's like, you know, trail keeping is pretty close. Up to one compared to, you know, like other, other games where it might be like, on a Yoshi Star, my game might just go really quick. It might be a more Ganon favored. Here, playing the longer game, as I was just mentioning. Just trying to keep Ganon out and not letting him, like, kind of poke his way in. So, a few moments ago, we had a situation where Trail had, like, full stage control. He's not going to have too many moments like that. And he backed off, I think, a little too much, if you ask me. That was dope. I just feel like you got to try and make the most out of those situations because spacing wise, Ganon actually can outspace Marth. Like that fair is just massive, and that's a that's a unique sort of thing for Marth to have to deal with. Yeah. Someone that can outspace him with something. It's really yeah, you don't really see that a lot. It's like, it's like really like Puff Camp, but that's like you know at most back air dependent. And like his other hitbox you don't really reach as far as that does against Marth. Right. Plus Marth can just find a way out like a forward air or an up air depending on where you are in the stage. But like again, if the way it extends forward. It can be super hard for Mark to deal with. The side oh, beat, the back hit. Wow. That might be and what the, he needs. The, sh the shake of the head from Trail. Yeah. It makes but. it back. Fall in the edge guard. But again, okay. situation. Resets. Nair is not going to finish it. Takes the double jump to the ledge after the down B. I think Kiko is there taking it slow, too. Ooh, early air dodge. But he's living. I should see why he went for the shield breaker there. Maybe he's, maybe he's changed his mind the last second. We'll still get the tilt at oh. least. Will the side be coming out again? He doesn't quite finish it. Yeah. yeah he's at high percent. This is where the question about Dreamland kind of can come into play. You know, having right. a hard time killing. Wait. Oh, but this probably will do it. Another neutral air. But, you know, keep bringing him around the world. So, and all these wow. different tilts. That. This is, this is just giving him too many chances, I feel like. Yeah. Even though he's probably going to finish it right here. It's just scary, man. That's that's gonna yeah. do it. He'll take the trade. It's no big deal. You're not like too high a percent to like, kill off like a game <laughs> <of> aerial. <laughs> I, but like I, how long that went on for? Like that's like a game of like you're just waiting. You're just gonna have to wait, play the patient I, game. I guess philosophically, that's exactly like what I was saying. With it's like take the big stage. I don't care. I'm just gonna hit you more times and still win. 
but uh, he got out of the way and uh, the immediate counter pick over to Yoshi. So it's polar opposite of the first game. This is yeah. the, the town smash on the call out on the ledge too. I love that from Trail. Or use a counter key to get, all, get him off too. I think every Ganon's favorite stage. Uh, he just moves pretty well here and it's kind of Ganon's playground. At yep. least of all the stages. It's also other characters' playground as well, like Fox. Fox, in Agro Peach, someone like a D Bats really like coming here too. Like, uh -huh. people can really have a lot of fun on like, the kind of character you play, and the style you play too. That was clean. The reverse fair to the F Smash goes out there, takes the soft fair better than the tipper fair in that uh, position. Cleans it up too. Oh, oh but. Can. The the Ganon punch just coming out. Got like by the ledge at 40%. Potentially, like, shoot, like another one of those potentially just taking stock. We're not careful. Yeah, it, it was a big call out upon coming down from the Angel platform. Didn't quite turn it into a stock or anything, but that's the stuff that Ganon's look for on this stage with an early kill thanks to the fair. And has Kiko come back. Great use of the tipman, but doesn't oh. finish it off. I love the idea. Damn. Doesn't hug him and eats a tipper and then dies and, on and the other side. That. All for that one idea. Man. Like, damn. That, that's like that's like someone like Kiko having that punish on like that one mistake. It shows how far like wide wide through this point in the bracket too. And I feel like that's a fair like bread and butter to go for. I'll do the tipman and then I'll stomp and they're dead. But I don't know, maybe that maybe there's another option. We'll see. Over that side B again on the platform doesn't quite get it. Like the shield, get for the get up attack. Oh, oh like, and the reverse again, leading to that back air. Using the side B in there, and then to juggle him and kill off the top. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, super super up air kill on that high up on a on a heavy character definitely feels amazing for Mark too. Great crouch cancel. Oh, another call with the down B as well. And oh, waits oh, up the counter, and counters it right back too. Fair is just murderous. It like it's such like it hits the sound effect that it makes yeah, the, the big of, whoosh, yeah. and you could feel it when you're playing. I mean, it's, I it's, it's also like, such a it's like it's like one of those sound effects you just you can't get over. It's like that peach frying pan is one of my favorites in the game, and like the Marf like double sword cling. It's one of my favorite stuff you see you here in melee. You just, like, okay, can't Randall. Oh, Randall. Oh, Randall. Oh, Randall. Oh. I mean, oh, it's oh, boy. It it happens, you know. It happens. I, I respect. I always respect people going to try and use Randall in whatever way they want to use him because it's a it's a cheeky moving platform. I mean, yeah, it is. Like Randall just poke out, quote C4D at the town. He's like, hee hee, I'm Randall, I'm gonna control the stock. Hee hee, and I'm gonna pop back in the stage. Come out, hee hee. And there's uh, just been there he's again. <laughs> super right, right on cue, right? Yeah, exactly. Whereas there's we're talking some, about him. some super classic Randall moments, but a little unfortunate for Trail there, just kind of missing, you know. Ooh, Kiko, a little bit over commitment potentially, wanted a tipper, but didn't quite get it. And yeah, kind of himself down, but still, it seems like Yoshi can make that turnaround real quick, as we kind of okay. seen throughout the set. A one punish on the get-up attack, and then didn't get a punish on the second one, does end up still maintaining the advantage, takes the stock. And just as Randall pops out too, in case like in case he missed it and allowed Trail to land, but no. Oh, wow. You know, sometimes I see Renth posting clips on Twitter, the Ganon down smash is a nutty move, man. It's, it's surprising. I do. I whenever I play Ganon, I'll look do a down throw and I'll throw it at down smash in case like the Fox or Falco doesn't go anywhere. It's super good on the basketball for that aspect, but like as like a ledge coverage option, too, it can be really nutty of what it can like behave because it has like it has to hit forward and hit backward too. Right. So if your timer right, can kind of cover different options, something like that. It's a super yeah. good move. Yeah, and, for real. And like you got you saw it earlier, Gan up smash like when he was below the platform earlier, that killed first stock too. So Gan has that toolkit. It's sort of like, you know, reading your opponent super well, which you know, someone like Trail, definitely no stranger to. And another situation. Doesn't Man. get the up air. Oh Randall! Again! <laughs> Almost! Changed so much of the flow, but again, just a little bit too short. So the way that he's been trying to mix up his recovery, it just hasn't been there for Trail. Uh Kikoho's had too many of the options covered too much of the time. That feels like kind of the story of this set. But yeah. Like really clean execution when he has the edge guard opportunities. Even like in game one, when it took a bunch of wash rinse for Pete, he's just able to get the kills and trail not finding uh, those like low percentage kills that he's hoping for on Yoshi's. He's finding himself getting killed off the top sometimes. It's just been a little rough. Working on some. Okay. Crowd chant coming in too. Can he wrap it up? Okay, that. He's still living. He's still living. 
now gets poked uh. by the upbeat. Yeah, could could have opportunity there. And just yeah, the angles that he's at because the Yoshi's like angle can get a tipper from that. And Kiko, you know, like not like a blowout, but definitely like a very difficult hill to climb. Especially these two have played pretty often at a hog, as like Chad we were saying.